to our Beatrice YouTube channel. Today's class, we'll be learning how to make this beautiful cow trouser. Okay, it's a very simple tutorial and it's beginner friendly. So, we'll be achieving this using free hand method, and it's very, very simple. If this is something you would like to learn, kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial. Thank you. Okay, so I'll uh, be we using this to, to this Ankara fabric for this tutorial. This is an Ankara fabric of two and a half yards, and Ankara fabric is by 45 inches. So I'm using two and a half yards by 45 inches for the trouser. So now, before I start, I want to just explain this using this paper so that we can see it well before we transfer it to our fabric. So this is just going to be a miniature size. So now I'll assume that this is my two and a half yards Ankara. So this is the yardage two and a half and this is the length which is 45 inches so for this you need your pants pattern so this is a pants pattern that i have drafted using a fabric so that you can show very well on this on this paper because i don't want to use the a paper as a pant as the pants i want it just to be contrasting so that we can see what i'm doing very well so this is going to be my pants pattern and this is going to be my fabric before we transfer to our main fabric so now the first thing i'm going to do now is to fold this ankara into two so remember this is by two and a half yard so two, the two and a half i'm going to be folding it into two by the yardage so i have it folded into two like this so you can actually cut this off so that you have it separately this is going to be for the front and this is going to be for the back so after, after folding it into two like this the next thing i'm going to do now is to fold this in a triangular form so you can see what i'm doing my two and a half yards i folded it into two then after folding into two now i'm just folding it like i'm folding a triangle like this so a perfect triangle so you can see what i have so after folding this into a triangle whatever excess that i may have i'm going to chop it off so this is my excess now and then i'm cutting it off if you have any excess on this side also you're going to cut it off and now i have my perfect triangle like this okay so after folding it you'll have this fold point you can see this folded hand and then this part opened into four like this okay remember i said you can cut this into two so that i can separate your front and back so now you have this fold point now and then you have this open point so this fold point now you're not going to touch it the next thing you need is your pants so what you need your pants for is to get your crotch the crotch measurement for your trouser so now you can choose any of this side so i'm choosing this side now and this is going to be my waist so let me just label this waist okay so this is going to be my waist and this is going to be my length and you can see that i still have my fold points here so you're not touching your fold point so the next thing on your waist area now you're going to be placing your pants like this you can see i'm placing it and you make sure that the crotch area is folding towards the open hand here not inwards like this so after placing it we just need this to get our crotch so i'm just going to go ahead now and cut out my crotch directly you can also mark this using your pen or whatever it is you want to mark this with so now my crotch is cut now and then i'm going to note the length of my trouser so this is my full trouser block so you can actually cut this here now to stop your trouser or if you want it to be pencil at the hem you can just note here you can not just notch this place and then you notice that your trouser ends here so your seam is going to hang here and this place is just going to be opened and give you that pencil effect at the hem i hope you understand this so now i'm going to set this aside now and then we'll work on her main fabric so i have my actual ankara fabric here so the first thing i'm going to do now is to fold this fabric into two just like i explained so it's quite big that's why i explained with the paper first so you can see me folding this into two equal parts and after folding it into two i'm going to fold this in form of a triangle like this you can see the way i'm making it to meet the other hand okay so i'm just folding it to meet this other hand so that i can form a triangle so after forming this triangle whatever excess that i have i'm just going to chop it off okay so i have my triangle folded now 
and then I forgot to say that the part I used earlier I have removed two inches upward. So what I mean is by this pants now, before taking my measurement, the pants I'm working, the, the pattern I'm working with, I went up by two inches because I'm going to use a two inches band for this. So I went up by two inches before I started my measurement. So I have several tutorials on how to draft a pants already on the channel. If you don't know how you can draft your pants, you can just check one of them out, and I'm going to link one of them in the description box so that I can know how you can draft this. So after folding it like this, I'm going to cut off the excess that I have. Okay, so now I folded it into a triangle. You can see this is one hand and this is the other hand. And this here is the folded point. So now this part here is going to be my waist, where I labeled my waist. So this upper part, this long part that we see here is going to be where my waist is going to be. So I'm just going to fold the triangle towards this end like this. So after folding it like that, the next thing I'm going to bring in now is my pattern. Okay, I'm going to bring in my pattern. And I have my pattern placed like that. So this is my pattern. And remember that I said that this part is going to this part is going to be my this part is going to be my crotch area. So I'll just go ahead now and cut out the crotch. So here now I'm cutting out my crotch. So you can see this is really simple and after cutting my crotch i'll go to the hem now and then i'm going to note where the length of my trouser is going to stop which is here okay so now i can remove my pattern and this is what i have so now we are going to start to sew this to sew this again i'm going to bring in my miniature you can see our waist and the, the crotch so now i'm going to open this up remember we have the front and back folded together so i'll just open this up we have two here for both front and back so now i'm going to go ahead now and sew the crotch here and then also on the other side i'm going to sew my crotch so what i'm going to do now remember it's folded like this this is my waist and this is my crotch so i'm going to open it so i'll have two here and sew here so after opening it like this i'm going to go ahead now and sew this my crotch on the sewing machine and then i'm going to sew this also on the sewing machine so now this back is going to carry my zipper but to make this easier i'm just going to sew the two of them so when i'm fixing my zipper i can just rip the seam that i have here and then i'll be able to install my zipper so now i'll take it to the sewing machine now open up my pants here and then i'm going to sew the crotch here and also the crotch here okay so i'm gonna head to sew them and you can see this is the first crotch and this is the second crotch so let me just so, show you on paper i've gone ahead to sew the one on paper also this is the first crotch this is the second crotch remember this side is the waist side when you open it remember like this this is the waist so here and here is my waist and this other side is my hem so now the next thing i'm going to open now is the hem side so on this waist here you're not touching the waist I'm just going to open it up like this on the hem then I'm going to match my crotch against each other like this just like we saw a normal trouser and then I'm going to run the stitch from the hem here remember where I notched that's where my trouser stop that's where the length of my trouser stop okay this is just going to be penciled towards the ankle area so from there now, I'm going to run a stitch like this and all the way like this so on my fabric what i'm going to do now is to open this hole this is the waist area this is the hem area i hope you can see this so now i'm going to be opening this hole like this and then i'm going to match the crotch area against each other let me raise this a bit so i'm going to match the crotch area against each other like this and then i'm going to sew it all the way to where i notched can see my notch here so i run a stitch from here now all the way to my crotch and then to the other side where i notched which is here so i'll go back to the machine now and run this stitch then we'll work on our waist area okay so i'm gonna head to sew the honda part this is the crotch and this is the hemline so i just so it's matching my crotch together like i explained this is the waist area and then i just sew it like this so you can see that i stopped where my 
length when the length of my trousers stops so like i said, explained you can just cut this off and then you hem it inwards but i just left it because i want it to be a bit penciled like that so now this is my waist untouched so to form your cow now the next thing you need to do is to pleat your waist so this is the actual fabric now and then I've gone ahead to sew it on the Honda ham. I can see that I stopped my sewing where I have my notch here. Then this is my crotch matched against each other. And then this just goes all the way to the other hand. Then here also I stopped where I have my notch. So this is what the crotch of the main bodies is looking like. I hope you can see it. So now the next thing we're going to do now is to work on the waist. So to work on your waist, the actual waist measurement that you took on your client. For me, the actual waist measurement that I took was 28 inches. So I'm going to be gathering or plating this, all of this. Okay, you're not going to be trimming it off. You can see that it's forming like a V shape. This is what is going to drop down to form your cow. So now the next thing is for you to gather all of this back to your actual waist measurement. So I'll take this to the sewing machine now. And then I'm going to start to pleat it or gather it like this. Okay, so by the time I gather it, I'll have something smaller to work with and then I'll be able to show us what the trouser is looking like. So now I'll gather all of this, all the waist area to my actual waist measurement now and then I'll bring it back to show us. So I have this done on my actual trouser. So you can see that I have gathered this. You can see my gathering that I did on my actual trouser. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to remove the seam on my back area so that I can put my trouser to where it is. So now using my seam ripper, I'm just going to cut it off. So I actually sew it close like this so that the tutorial is going to be easy for us to understand. So if you are making yours, you may just leave that part where you are going to be adding your trouser opened. You don't have to sew it. So now I'm just going to be ripping it up to where my trouser is going to, my zipper is going to stop. The zipper I'm working with is the eight, is an eight inches zipper. And remember that we are adding a two inches band to this. So from where my seam allowance is now, I'll go up by two inches and then I'll measure where my eight inches is, which is here. So I'm going to be ripping my seam up to that point so that I can have that plaid opened. So after gathering the waist area to your actual size, the next thing I'm going to do now is to cut my two inches band using my actual waist measurement. So this band is what is going to conceal all this rough gathering for me. So the leftover fabric that I have, so you just need about two and a half yards and then the fabric you're going to be needing for your band for this trouser. So you don't need too much. So I'll remove this now. So I've ripped this open now. I can see that it is opened. Okay, so this is my back part. This is my entire waist. So now the leftover fabric that I have, I'm going to fold this now and use it to cut my two inches band. So I've folded my fabric into two now. I can see I'm cutting it on fold. So this is two and a half inches long. I need half inch to aim it inwards like this. So, and the length is my actual waist measurement. So now I'll take this to my sewing machine now, and then I'm going to be fixing the band. So you can add an interface to this, a gum stay, paper stay, or whatever it is that you want to add. And then I'm going to sew this now, and then close it up like this, so that my band is going to be fixed around my trouser. So I'll do this now and bring it back to show us. I hope you understand what I'm saying. So all you just need to do, let me turn this to the right side so that we'll see it well. So all you need to do is to take your trouser like this, this sharp edge. I'm just going to remove it. Take your trouser together like this. Okay, I'm still going to so my seam for my gather just opened here so i'll still close it then you're going to sew in this first then after sewing it in i'm going to fold this into two and then turn it like this and sew it close so basically what i'm doing now is suspending this rough waist in between my band okay remember my band will be folded into two so what i want to do now is to put this rough waist area in between my band so that it's going to be neat then after that i'm going to fix my zipper and the trouser is done 
okay so i've gone ahead to fix my band now and this is what it's looking like okay so this is the cow part and this is the pencil leg that we have so again like i said if you don't want it this sharp you can just hand it at your ankle area you just make sure that the measurement that you have here is enough to go around your ankle and then you hem it but i just want to see what effect this is going to give it and if i don't like it i can still chop it off and then hem it anyhow i want it so this is the trouser this is the crotch area and this is the full trouser that we have here now so you can see the excess that we have on the waistline now to form our crotch so i'll take this to the mannequin now to show us what this looks like our car trouser is looking like now this is the band area and this are our place that formed the car for us so this is what the side is looking like you can see how it's just folds all the way down and this is the M so you can either let your M form this V shape that we have here or you just cut it off like I said in the video it is totally up to you and what you're aiming to get I hope you enjoyed making this tutorial with me if you enjoyed it let us know in the comment section like comment and subscribe to our channel and I'll see you in the next one bye